What you got, Moose? You got something, Bubba? It's a pretty good one. Come here. Good snake. Definitely grabbed it. Woo! Almost lost the gonads on that one. Today we're heading out in the Everglades, out on the boat. I got Moose, my python tracking dog with me, and we're gonna get up on the islands and see what we can find. It's been a little while since I've hunted this strip here. Last time I was down here, I actually had a buddy with me, my buddy Chance, and uh, we were able to find a python near the end of this up getting some sun on the rocks and uh, hopefully we'll have that same luck today. We're coming up on our first island of the day. Uh, I marked this spot earlier in the year as a good location for breeding and nesting pythons. So uh, we'll get up here and see what we got. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Find them. Moose was ready to go this morning and hopefully that nose is too. So when I hunt these islands with moose, you know, it's definitely a team effort. Um, moose will start to lead the way and get a little more excited when he gets on a python scent, um, something fresher. Uh, in the meantime, until we find that, I like to walk around and uh, he'll just kind of follow me and uh, we'll wait till we get on something a little hot before Moose kind of takes over. Looks like we have a, uh, a turtle nest that was dug up um, and eaten by something. These were not hatched. These were definitely dug up. I would say this could be a, a raccoon or an otter more likely than anything else, which for me, that's great to see. That shows the work we're doing out here is working. Uh, our native wildlife is still out here, still doing their thing, and hopefully um, increasing and, and bouncing back. What you got, Moose? You got something, Bubba? Yep. Good dog. Good dog. Come here. Come here. Come here, man. Sit. Sit. Stay. So we got a python in here. It's a pretty good one. All right, I'm gonna grab this joker. And uh, there. Pull it out. I'm just gonna have to go for his head. All right. Yes, sir. That is a beauty. What a pretty snake. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like it just shed recently. And uh, let's see what it is. A female. She will make some fine leather products. Definitely been eating good out here. And uh, who knows, she might even be full of eggs this time of year. If not, she was out here looking to breed. So um, there very well may be more snakes on this island. Uh, could be some males coming up here to find her. So we're definitely gonna search the rest of this and see what else we can find. This time of year, you often don't find just one snake. So awesome, we found this one. Nice job, Moose. Good boy. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, put her in a bag, keep searching this island, get back to the boat and uh, euthanize her and anything else we find. So, 
couldn't be more excited to get a snake this early in the hunt. It's a, uh, a female that's possibly coming up on this island to look for a breeding mate. Um, she doesn't seem to be gravid. She doesn't seem to be full of eggs, but um, you know, she came up here for a reason and I'm glad we got her before she was able to breed and produce more. And they'll cut off the circulation very quick. Can't tell you how many times I've had one wrap my arm or something or my leg and all of a sudden my leg is useless, totally asleep. Find them. I tell you what, coming up here on these islands, it ain't for everybody. It's a tough hunt and you definitely got to want it. You know, there's sticks grabbing you, poking you, scratching your eyeballs out, and uh, it it is hot. So these pythons are highly aquatic. Um, and a lot of people don't know that. They actually spend 80% of their life in water. And we have just recently found that out thanks to um, GPS tracking and uh, these snakes being so aquatic only time we're catching them is when they're coming up on land either these islands or the levees and roadways and that shows that you know we're only hunting 20% of these snakes maybe so out there in the water further out in the Everglades is where they they spend most of their time so that's where we need to spend most of our time we need to get out here, get out in the water, um, airboat, swamp buggies, and go where the roads aren't so we can find these snakes um, in their natural habitat. And that's why it's so frustrating for me to see federal government, state government restrict us um, stewards of the land, gladesmen, from being able to bring our vehicles and get out here and hunt these snakes. Um, you know, airboat access, swamp buggy access is very limited and it really ties our hands in the removal of this very destructive invasive species. Getting hot, which is not really great for the work we're trying to do. Moose gets real hot like that, he's panting, and when dogs are panting, they don't really, they're not smelling like they should be. And this heat will bake off any scent that's on the ground, so. Getting late in the day, getting hot. We're coming up on one of my last GPS spots. And uh, as soon as we land up on this island, maybe 30 foot in, Moose starts acting like he's on a snake. Big, gravid female. Definitely up here to lay a nest. Ooh, son. Good dog. Look at this freaking thing. Good boy, Moose. I have a feeling she gonna be pissed off. Oh yeah, here she come. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good snake. Definitely grabbed it. Woo! Almost lost the gonads on that one. Come on, come here, big girl. Oh, shit. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She is pissed off. Easy, girl, easy, girl. About the shed. Whoo! Look at her. Look at that. She's got some scars on her. She's an old bruiser. Got me a little bit. And she is pissed off. Hell yeah. That's what it's all about right there. I wanna, I wanna search this little head a little bit better, make sure there's no males in there. I looked pretty good before I grabbed her, and it's thin enough where I think I'd be able to see one, unless it was shedding like her. That's why she was just so hard to see. Her skin's so, so dull and just brown 
that in this stuff, I mean, she's almost invisible. Definitely coming up here to lay a nest. And uh, I mean, literally, the boat is right here. Absolutely wild. Just got up on the island and uh, it don't get no better than that. Definitely wanna search the rest of this island. I'd be a little bit more excited if she wasn't already clearly gravid. Um, I would think maybe there was a breeding aggregation up here for her, but she definitely came up here to lay a nest and that doesn't really mean that there's gonna be other snakes here. Hell yeah. All right, let's uh, get her taken care of and keep working this island. Good boy, Moose. Yes, sir. Hard work pays off. Goodness gracious. Team effort if I've ever seen one. Woo! Well, y'all, you know, it was a, a very successful day and um, it doesn't always happen like that, especially with python hunting. I can't tell you how many days I come out here and don't find a single thing. Um, I've spent weeks down here and not found a single thing. But then you have a day like this where you find two, one of them's full of eggs and it makes it all worth it. So uh, don't get discouraged out there, you know, spread your efforts out. Don't hunt in the areas that you think is going to be easy. Put your time in and I promise it'll pay off. And uh, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you at the next one. So this is where she was in here. And you can actually see an old snake tunnel from where she's been balled up in here before. And she's definitely came up here on this island looking to lay, lay those eggs that are inside of her. Um, I can just tell by how thick she is, especially at the, um, the base of her tail, that she's gravid full of eggs. So that's an extra win, us getting her, getting her out of this uh, Everglades and where she and her babies won't be eating our native wildlife. Um, once I get her back home, I'll kind of get her opened open, see how many eggs ins are inside of her. And, um, you know, we may have just removed up to 50, 60 pythons with just that one snake. So. so I'll actually have leather products made from these snakes I caught today. And you guys can buy them and be a part of Florida conservation no matter how far you are. Uh, every wallet, bracelet, gunsling, belt, anything I sell, all of it gets pumped right back into my operation and it goes right back into me funding myself to come out here and remove these snakes, funding myself to operate my five acre wildlife rescue and rescue animals. And um, you know, you guys all make that possible. You can purchase these items by emailing pythoncowboyhunts at gmail.com. And uh, we have some beautiful products, custom products, whatever y'all want, we'll make it happen. So uh, really appreciate you guys, and uh, thanks a lot.